The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life, whom should I dread? When those who do evil draw near, they stumble and fall. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to our lasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, from whom all good things come, Grant that we, who call on you in our need, may at your prompting discern what is right, and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and Amen. Amen. from the first book of Kings. The brook near where Elijah was hiding ran dry because no rain had fallen in the land. So the Lord said to Elijah, move on to Zarephath of Sidon and stay there. I have designated a widow there to provide for you. He left and went to Zarephath. As he arrived at the entrance of the city, a widow was gathering sticks there. He called out to her, Please bring me a small cupful of water to drink. She left to get it, and he called out after her, Please bring along a bit of bread. She answered, As the Lord your God lives, I have nothing baked. There is only a handful of flour in my jar and a little oil in my jug. Just now I was collecting a couple of sticks to go in and prepare something for myself and my son. When we have eaten it, we shall die. Elijah said to her, do not be afraid. Go and do as you propose, but first make me a little cake and bring it to me. Then you can prepare something for yourself and for your son. For the Lord, the God of Israel says, the jar of flour shall not go empty nor the jug of oil run dry until the day when the Lord sends rain upon the earth. She left and did as Elijah had said. She was able to eat for a year, and Elijah and her son as well. The jar of flour did not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry, as the Lord had foretold through Elijah. The word of the Lord. Lord, let your face shine on us. Lord, let your face shine on us. When I call, answer me, O oh my just God. You who relieve me when I am in distress, have pity on me and hear my prayer. Men of rank, how long will you be dull of heart? Why do you love what is vain and seek after falsehood? Lord, let your face shine on us. Know that the Lord does wonders for his faithful ones. The Lord will hear me when I call upon him. Tremble and sin not. Reflect upon your beds in silence. Lord, let your face shine upon us. O Lord, let the light of your countenance shine upon us. You put gladness into my heart, more than when grain and wine abound. Lord, let your face shine upon us.
your face shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. Alleluia. Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the disciples, You are the salt of the earth, but if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand, where it gives light to all in the house. Just so, your light must shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise the Lord. Lord. Our gospel is a good reminder to us that we should be that salt and that light in the world, that we should try to continue to be a benefit for the world, to be one that provides that flavor or that light. And we are able to do that in so many very ways. Most prominently is the prayers that we are able to give to the world that through our prayer we're able to think of others and think of those around us to see how through the grace of God they can be helped. And likewise in the matter of service to say what am I able to do for another person to be their light, to be that salt in the world. And yes we realize that the world is a large place and we may not be able to touch every individual in that light or in that way of green flavor, but we can start with those around us and then move on from there to say, how can I make a difference this very day in a person that I meet, even in the simplest ways, to say, how can I help them rather than take something away from them or hurt them? How can I be that one that promotes rather than the one that detracts? And that way we can be that light rather than that darkness for an individual. We can be that flavor rather than that way of flavorlessness um, that might bring others lower, want to bring others higher in that way. Let's continue to pray now and always that we might continue to strive in those very little ways of bringing light to the world, of bringing that flavor, that we might strive to say, let me be that benefit for others in everything that we do. My dear sisters and brothers, ready to share all that we have according to God's word, let us offer our prayer petitions to our Heavenly Father. That God's people may share in times of abundance and in times of want, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. That governments and churches may see first to the needs of the most vulnerable, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. That no one may suffer a lack of food, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. That the poor may show the world true generosity, we pray to the Lord. Lord that the sick and disabled may have the resources to meet their needs, we pray to the Lord. Lord that we may seek, that we may always seek the common good, we pray to the Lord. Lord Let us pray for peace in Ukraine, we pray to the Lord. Lord that the dead may behold God's unending generosity, we pray to the Lord. Lord and for your own intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord God of Israel, who chose the side of the hungry and poor, and never failed to hear the cries for justice, bless us with your generosity. May we share willingly with those in need. 
that none of your children may suffer wants. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work with human hands will become for us the bread of the Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual dream. Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, and the grace of the Lord of His name, for our good and good Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you, and lead us to grow in charity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Your lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to be thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, who you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining you a holy people, he stretched his hands, he endured his passion. So as break the bonds of death will manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints we declare your glory, as with one voice we have claimed. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son of the Christ, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son of the Christ. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. By the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks you have called us worthy to be in your presence and ministry to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. To have Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Hugh, St. Paul the Sixth, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and for by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, but not in our sins, by the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us offer each other the sign of Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my saving strength. Let us pray. May your healing work, O oh Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil, and lead us to what is right. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Today, let's pray a Hail Mary for the needs of our church, of our world, especially those in Russia and Ukraine, and of our community. May the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, Amen. full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Today, let's pray a prayer to our mother and mothers. Mother and mothers, Holy Queen, chosen before all women to be the mother of the Son of God. Mary, my mother, who in your maternity has so sanctified the state of Holy Motherhood, imploring thee I come to you, humbly I beseech you, confidently I trust in you. I know that you can, by your powerful intercession, help me in my need. In you I take refuge, dear Virgin, for in needy I place my hope entirely in you. I relinquish all confidently in your hand. To train down my humble trust, but hear my petitions and come to my aid, dear Mother of God. 